What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Montana State Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. Today we got our first Brawl of the Wild, our first Cat Grizz game of the season. Jason Washington, their quarterback, 28 touchdowns to just 4 interceptions. Hillard, almost a thousand yards on the year. He's trying to get there today. They got some good receivers as, as well. They got Allen, Bagley, Simpson, Farrier. They, they've all been racking up yards and touchdowns. Their offensive line, it's okay. They've been giving up some sacks though. Their defense, man, their defense is good. You got to remember, this team just a couple weeks back went to Alabama, who I think was ranked about number 16 at the time, and beat them in Alabama. They beat the Crimson Tide. Now, they're, they're not the Crimson Tide that we know and love today or know and hate today, you know, led by Nick Saban, obviously, and whatnot. But still, they beat Alabama. This is a good football team. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a, a little bit scared. Here come the Bobcats. We've had a disappointing season at 4-7. and seven. Uh, I think more of it has to do with I just kind of suck at the game. More so than uh, this roster's bad, although even as good as our roster is, the Grizzlies have a better roster. They're the best team in the Big Sky Conference. It's either them or Idaho. Idaho has not lost a game in the Big Sky Conference. The Grizz, I think, have lost two in the Big Sky Conference, but still, like, they're a good team. Here goes Hillard running, trying to get to that 1,000-yard mark. He's going to pick up a gain of four. Second down and six. Hillard with the football again, but he's not going to pick up very much as Derek Marks is in on the stop there. Third down and five. Play action. Washington going deep here. He's got a man open. He beat everybody, and he dropped the football. Oh, thank goodness, because that was a touchdown, or at the very least, a big play. We got away with one there. Ifonze running. He's also trying to break the 1,000-yard mark. He's going to need 105 yards on the ground today. And this is really going to help there as he picks up about 12 of them. Here goes Afonze again. 10 more yards for him on that run. Right now, early on, it's looking like maybe he'll get to that 1,000 yards. Uh, but now Logan Jones running. He's only going to pick up a gain of one. Anderson trying to go over the middle there, but the pressure got to him. And that pass falls incomplete. Third down and nine. Anderson moving to his left. Throwing on the move there for Lance McCutcheon. It's going to fall incomplete. It did hit him in the hands, but it was a tough catch to make. And we're going to have to punt. Washington going to the right side. That pass is going to fall incomplete. Second down and ten. It's a toss out to Hillard, who's going to throw it back to Washington. Gets away from the first defender. Conco can't get him. Spinning away from Washington. He's across the 50, across the 40. Can Marks catch him? Across the 20, across the 10. I push the wrong button to sprint, and he's in the end zone for a touchdown. Watch 85 yards. It's going to go down as a quarterback run. What a crazy start to this game there. Their Monty, the, their, their mascot, he's celebrating. Why is Monty in this game and Champ isn't? Okay, that's some bull crap there. They have Monty but not Champ, the Bobcats mascot. Anyway, they score on that huge freaking crazy play there. And uh, yeah, we're trying to respond now. Koi Steele has that catch there. It's going to pick up a gain of nine. Second down and one. Logan Jones running. I think he might have picked up enough for the first it's not really going to matter though as he got brought down by the face mask. So attack on 15 yards there. Anderson trying to go over the middle in a risky, dangerous throw there. He threw it right to the defender. Luckily, the defender was not expecting it. Koi steal over the middle, picks up a gain of 8. He gets smacked but is able to uh, hold on to the football there. And then Afonso is able to pick up the first down on third down. Isaiah Afonso running again. He's going to pick up just a single yard. Second down and nine. Anderson, he's got time in the pocket. Moving to his left, trying to go to Lance McCutcheon again. This time it's also going to fall incomplete. Third down and nine. Anderson, he's going to take off and run. He picks up the first down and more down to the five-yard line. First down and goal. Toss out to the left for Afonso. Trying to get the edge there, but he's unable to do so, and he's going to lose three yards. Toss out to Kevin Cassis, trying to get the edge, but he's going to lose even more yards. So now it's going to be third down and goal from the 15-yard line. Anderson trying to step up into this one. It's tipped, and it's going to be picked off by the Grizzlies. 
Well, I was trying to get something there, trying to force that to Kevin Cassis. It looked like he might have been opened, and I think he might have been for a split second, but uh, just wasn't quite fast enough, and unfortunately it gets tipped and picked off. First down and 10 for Montana. They're going to give it to Hillard, and he's going to pick up a gain of three. Second down and seven. Hillard with the football. Not going to pick up a whole lot there, though. Third down and seven. Jason Washington looking to throw. He's going to go over the middle, and it's going to be picked off. Brandon Conkle with the INT here. How far can he return it across the 20? Breaks off of a tackle down close to the 15-yard line. Let's go. So we turn the ball over with an interception, but then they're able to return the favor here. Conkle with the interception, and that's going to set up the Bobcats with some pretty good field position to start off this next drive. First down and 10 from the 17-yard line. Toss out to the right for Afonze. He's going to pick up about three yards there. Anderson's looking to throw, going underneath to Kevin Cassis, who's able to break out of a tackle there, and he's going to pick up just enough for the first down. Anderson now rolling to his left. He's got open room in front of him, diving into the end zone for the Bobcat touchdown. So that's going to tie this game up now at seven apiece. They're ranked higher than we are. They have better players overall-wise and whatnot, but I think we can stick with them. Kicking it off here, they got Waller returning. He gets some nice blocking there. Stiff arms a man. Some more nice blocking. He's across the 50, across the 30, 20, 10. Nobody's going to get him. Touchdown, Grizzlies. So, uh, yeah, it was tied for about five seconds there, and then they're able to take the lead right back. Toss out to the right for Afonso, but he's going to lose four yards there. Anderson now on the quarterback run there. He's going to pick up a solid gain. It's going to be third down and one. Giving it to Afonze, but he's going to be brought down short of the first down line. It was third down and one, and uh, we lost the yard there. Afonze trying to talk some trash and whatnot, but, I mean, I don't know if you can talk trash when, uh, when uh, you, you, you can't pick up the first down on third and one there. A nice run by Hillard picks up the first down and moves the chains. Washington looking to pass under some pressure. That pass is going to fall incomplete. Inside of two minutes here. Here goes Hillard on the carry. He's going to pick up a gain of three. Third down and seven. Washington He's going to give it to Hillard on the draw. Who runs Conkle right over there. He's going to pick up a first down and more and move the chains. He just needs six more yards now to get 1,000 on the season. Hillard now getting involved in the receiving game. That's going to pick up a gain of seven. Here goes Hillard running and put him over that 1,000-yard mark as he is in the end zone for the touchdown. So the Grizz now, they're going to be up 21-7. to uh, It'd be nice if we can do something here in the last minute of the half. If Fonze on the screen, he's not going to pick up a ton of yards there, a gain of three. Second down and seven now on this next play. 58 seconds left in the half. Under a lot of pressure. And down goes Troy Anderson. Look at this replay here. The left tackle just got absolutely annihilated there. Anderson didn't even have a chance. Now trying to go over the middle to Coy Steele, but Anderson's going to overthrow him. We're going to have to punt. And Montana, they want more points here before halftime. Going over the middle. Badgley has the catch out to the 40-yard line. First down and 10. Washington to the right side now. Caught by Ferry. And he's going to bring it in to the end zone for the touchdown. And it's starting to get a little ugly now as it's going to be 28-7. to Going to the left side. Uh, Prince Jr. Just tried to defend it. Couldn't do it very well there. And uh, yeah, uh, they're up by 21 now. Logan Jones returning this one. He's had some good kick and punt returns here. This looks like it's going to be another good one as he gets it out across the 50-yard line, officially down at the 46. And it looks like we might be able to get some points here with 28 seconds left in the half. Troy Anderson, a big run here across the 25-yard line. And that already gets us in field goal range, but you know we're going to want a touchdown, not a field goal. Another risky pass there. Luckily, it's, gonna, it's just going to fall incomplete. Anderson now moving to his left. Trying to throw for a coy steal. Incomplete pass. Third down and 10. Anderson going to the left for Kevin Cassis. It's going to be knocked away, though. 
Fourth down and 10. Bring out Tristan Bailey. We were able to hit a field goal last week. Can we make it two in a row? No, we cannot. Make it one for 13 when it comes to kicking on the year. And we're going to go into halftime down 28 to 7. Trying to get a little bit of offense going here in the second half. Afonso running. It's going to pick up a nice six yard gain. Anderson now running. He had nowhere to go with it. And neither does Isaiah Afonso. Third down and eight. Anderson under a lot of pressure there. He had Travis Johnson open, but unfortunately underthrew him. And the Grizz are going to get the football back again. Hillard running there. He gets it out to the 26-yard line. A good run for him. Washington now on the quarterback draw. He's going to take it himself. Breaks off one tackle. Spin move there. Jumping into the end zone for his second rushing touchdown today. Who is this man? He's at quarterback, but he's doing stuff that Troy Anderson should be doing with the way he's running the football. Man, 35-7 to now, and the center doesn't even feel like blocking on that play. Second down and 11. Anderson running to his right. He's got Johnson open, but it's going to be picked off by Harris. Oh, man, trying to float it over the defender there. Travis Johnson was open, and he would have got a lot of room. But unfortunately, Anderson does not throw it over the defender. The defender ends up picking it off. And the Grizzlies are in good field position here. Washington going to the left side. That one's going to fall incomplete, though. Third down and six. Here goes Hillard on the run, getting away from the fenders, and he's going to move the chains. First down and goal. Washington to the left side, and he has his man in the end zone for another Montana touchdown. Make it 42-7 to now. Man, it wasn't that long ago we were tied at seven apiece. Going deep here for Kevin Cassis. What a catch there. Nice to see him make a big play today. And, I mean, it feels like it might be a little too late to try to come back into this game. But you never know. Crazier things have happened. Anderson running to his right. He's going to take off and run. Caught from behind, though, after picking up seven there. Second down and three. There, Lance McCutcheon has the catch. And his guy's going to move the sticks. Troy Anderson running out to his right, throwing there. Oh, man, just a little bit off the mark. He had a man open. Anderson looking to throw yet again, moving to his right yet again, trying to go to Travis Johnson. It's going to fall incomplete, though. Third down and 10. Anderson, he's going to run, and it looks like I think he picked enough up for the first down. Indeed, he did. Anderson, under a lot of pressure here, just barely able to throw that one away. Second down and 10. Anderson's looking to throw yet again. Pressure in his face yet again. Running to the right. He's throwing there. Looking for Travis Johnson. It's going to fall incomplete though. Anderson going over the middle and off the hands of Coy Steele. Fourth down and 10. We got to go for it if we want anything here. What a catch there by Kevin Cassis in the end zone for the touchdown. Bobcats able to get on the scoreboard for the first time this half and maybe, just maybe, inch closer. First down and 10 here. They're going to give it to Hillard on the draw. He's not going to pick up a whole lot there, though. Second down and 9. Washington looking to throw. Going deep over the middle there. It's going to fall incomplete. Third down for the Grizz. Washington taking a deep shot. He's got a man open. Luckily, Allen is there to break it up and force them to punt. Nearing the end of the third quarter here, Anderson, he's running to his right, going deep there for Travis Johnson, who's able to come down with it, and we're already going to be in Montana territory. Now here goes Isaiah Alfonso on the run, still trying to maybe get to 1,000 yards, although looks like that's going to be unlikely as he's going backwards there. Anderson is going to take off and run here. Out of bounds just short of the first down markers. Now third down and two. Anderson's going to pick it up with his legs and more. Inside of the 10-yard line. Pushed out of bounds at the five. First down and goal. Toss out to the right for Afonso. Yikes. He lost five yards there. Anderson's looking to throw. Under some pressure here. Moving out to his left. He's going to try to run and pick up whatever he can, which is three yards. Third down and goal here for the Bobcats. Troy Anderson running to his right. He's going to try to scramble, pick up whatever he can yet again. He's going to pick up three more. Fourth down and goal over the middle. Lance McCutcheon, he's in the end zone for the touchdown. And it's going to be a 21-point game now. Uh, it's going to be difficult to score three touchdowns in the next three minutes and get three stops. But 
it is possible, although the Grizzlies, they're trying to just run this clock down. They already got the backups in the game. Third down and five. It's direct snap here to Waller, who's running, but he's going to be brought down short of the sticks. They're going to have to punt. Here goes Troy Anderson, running to the left side. Here he picks up a first down and is going to move the chains before stepping out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Anderson under some pressure, going down, sacked on the play. He's, didn't, he's done a good job this season avoiding sacks and whatnot, but uh, the Grizzlies, they've been watching film. What a catch there by Travis Johnson on the right side, but there's a flag on the play, and that's going to be illegal touching as he was out of bounds before he came back inbounds to make that catch. Third down and 20. Anderson going over the middle, and he throws it right to Thomas, the linebacker there. Just a really bad underthrow, and that's going to wrap up this game as we end up losing our first Brawl of the Wild this series, a score of 42-21. to I was thinking maybe, just maybe, we could win this game, but we made a lot of mistakes. Uh, we couldn't really stop them on uh, on their offense. We couldn't stop their offense, and our offense had a really tough time after that first touchdown. Three interceptions thrown by Anderson. Uh, he was sacked a few times. He did have over 100 yards rushing, but Isaiah Afonso, he had a nice first two runs of the game. He had like 20 yards on his first two carries, and then just went backwards, backwards, backwards the rest of the day. Our defense played okay-ish, I guess. I mean, we did have that one interception on Conkle, which did set up that first touchdown. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a moist rest of your day. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey. Goodbye.